Okay, so by popular demand, today we are checking out Hawking Hills State Park. Basically, since we got to Ohio, everybody's been saying you need to check out Hawking Hills. Now, the job that I'm at right now, I'm only off on the weekends, so we're here on a weekend. It's 7.30 in the morning because it's gonna be crowded. It's gonna be crowded. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. I thought this was the lodge everybody was talking about, but I guess this is just the visitor center. Which is pretty fancy. Looking. And it's pretty nice looking, so we're gonna check this out. We're gonna check the lodge out, hopefully later on, and uh, go from there. Yeah, we're actually staying with the camper at the campground, so we're gonna show you guys the campground as well. We lucked out and got a full hookup site, which I guess is yeah. kinda hard to do. But we're gonna hike the couple trails first. Callie can go with us on these, so we're very excited. And I'll say this for Mike's sake as well, a lot of these trails are one direction, like the band. Like the band. <laughs> You have to go in a certain direction, so make sure you follow signs to make sure you're going the right direction on the correct trail. That's so cool. It's also cool that I don't think it's on a trail, so it's gonna be preserved for a lot longer because people aren't walking over it all the time. It's really neat. You see those caves kind of go back too. I can't believe how cool some of these bridges and stuff are. This reminds me a lot of Turkey Run, but yeah. Turkey Run doesn't have the really neat bridges and stuff in it. So like our favorite state park, because we're from Indiana and we're biased and I grew up near it, is probably Turkey Run State Park. This one's giving it a run for its money. Oh, look at that bridge. Uh, that's cool. Stop the clocks, the bees are humming in between. 
We got here at 7.30 and there was maybe 20 other people that we saw, maybe 10 cars in the parking lot. I'm getting ready to show you what it's like now, quarter till 10. Like it's not even like late, it's right. not even 10 a.m. Okay. We're gonna go ahead to oh. Ash, Ash Cave. Cave. So technically the trails do connect from here at the Visitor Center and Old Man's Cave all the way down to Ash Cave. It's about five miles there and five miles back. I don't think we're quite up to that, so we're gonna cheat a little bit and drive. It's like a, a five mile drive, I think. 10 minutes down to Ash Cave, check that out. And then, I don't know what after that. The next morning we had some rain showers move in, so we decided to check out the new Hawking Hills Lodge. The lodge was open in October of 2022 and it is truly a work of art. The inside has plenty of rooms, a restaurant and bar, and two pool areas. And the back side of the lodge has a huge patio area complete with a gorgeous view. While we were out exploring, we discovered that there are several trails within walking distance and decided to check out Whispering Cave Trail. The trail was still wet, but it was a short hike to check out the end of the trail, which has a beautiful waterfall. We had spent the majority of the morning hiking without Callie, so we decided to head back to the campground. The campground is huge and has a pool as well as movie nights during the summer. We were lucky enough to be neighbors to somebody who follows this channel, so that was really awesome. Hey guys. We spent the rest of the evening checking out the campground before we had to leave the next morning. So good morning. It is our last day here. We've had such a good time here at Hawking Hills. The state park honestly surprised us. Everybody's been telling us you need to come to Hawking Hills State Park. And we're like, okay, let's give it a try. It's really cool. Yeah. So. We're heading out today. We had, a, like I said, we had a really good time here. I would recommend getting here early if you're wanting to check out the trails um, and give it a couple days if you have time. Yeah, we we had a day and a half full of exploring and we still didn't see all of the things. So definitely jam packed a lot into this weekend, but it's time to head back home because I have to work the next few days. So thanks so much for following along with us this week. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.